Nelson Mandela, an innocent man who was an extremely talented public speaker and an advocate for freedom in apartheid South Africa, was wrongfully imprisoned for 27 years after peacefully opposing and exposing his racist government. As he was in prison, many tactics were used to break his resolve, including solitary confinement, where the prisoner is forced to remain in isolation with little to no human interaction. How he got through these times unbroken and unwavering shows immense resilience and he clues us in as to how he did it. In the College Board Stimulus Long, Word, Long Walk to Freedom, Nelson Mandela writes, one must find consolation in being true to one's ideals, keeping one's head pointed toward the sun and one's feet moving forward. This mentality can be applied to nearly every person that went through the pandemic. As we all face isolation under unfortunate circumstances where it felt almost like house arrest, both colleges and students alike had to keep this mentality in mind. For the colleges, they had to remain true to their ideals, even in the unfortunate time, by doing everything they can to continue educating their students, which unfortunately led to transitioning fully online. Each of the students had to find a way to keep their feet moving forward, even when all they had was a computer and some online teachings. Following the pandemic, many people were eager to return to in-person learning and forget about online learning entirely. However, when you are able to combine the two, it creates an extremely, effect extremely effective learning style. Good afternoon, my name is Guy Fox, and this is hybrid learning in universities. Hybrid learning is defined as splitting course assignments between an in-person session, typically used for exams or notes, as well as an online portion that will usually cover certain assignments such as discussions, quizzes, or individual activities. Although this teaching method is currently underutilized, there are still plenty of findings to evaluate. The question I used to organize this research was, to what extent has hybrid learning become the optimal learning method in the college setting following the pandemic? Following my, following my research, I came to the conclusion that hybrid learning is clearly the optimal form of learning in the college setting based on the student success, sociability, and convenience of this teaching style. Foremost, hybrid learning is the optimal learning method in the college setting because hybrid style courses have a higher student success rate compared to both online and in-person learning. According to a study carried out by Douglas Moody, the professor of management at Kennesaw State University in the quarterly report of distance learning, students had an unweighted GPA of 3.15 in their hybrid courses compared to just 2.95 in face-to-face -face and online. This demonstrates how there is a direct correlation between the learning style and results as they were the same course, yet due to the nature of hybrid learning, they were able to achieve a higher GPA throughout their semester based on completing certain assignments. Not only are students able to get better results throughout a long-term period, but they also achieved higher grades on assessments. In a study carried out by Yan Zhang and Huang He Zhao Tong University, where they evaluated the results of hybrid learning for foreign students enrolled in English courses, they achieved an average test score of 84% compared to just 78% of online students. Furthermore, hybrid courses create the greatest amount of sociability when compared to online and in-person courses. Elena Shimkovich, the head of Department of Disciplines at the Kazan Federal University, found that when transitioning from online to hybrid courses, 59% of students said it was easier to learn with a teacher in class. Having a teacher in front of you allowed the students to focus more as well as ask questions much easier. This social interaction is nearly unattainable through online courses as there are many distractions and interrupting a conference or having to send an email to a teacher to ask a question is far more inefficient and much more difficult. Hybrid learning allows for maximizing social interaction for the best experience for students. With hybrid courses, students are able to interact face-to-face -face with professors, peers, and friends outside of class. The interaction with peers within in-person courses is undeniable, but it is also applicable to hybrid learning, as students can ask their peers questions or work in groups to collaborate and build relationships. However, one drawback of in-person courses is a lack of flexibility in the students' schedules, allowing for less free time for students to enjoy others. Hybrid courses allow a perfect balance of social interaction within the classroom, as well as a flexible schedule to create an extensive amount of free time outside of the classroom. Not only do the flexible schedules allow for more social interaction, but they also make the course far more convenient. In a study carried out by Domagaj Brazic and the, the research and lecturing assistant at the School of Dental Medicine at the University of Zagreb, he found that 92% of students said that clinical practicals and clerkships could be done at home rather than in person. Hybrid courses allow for simpler and individual tasks to be done at home so that the student may complete them on their own time rather than in an allotted time frame. 
Hybrid courses are able to increase convenience for every party involved as well. They are able to lower campus costs for universities as students will be on campus less often. They make professors' jobs much easier because instead of having a large amount of work submitted on paper to grade, they will have an automatic grading system that provides instant feedback. Additionally, they are able to reuse tutorials, educational videos, or activities from the previous years in their course because it will appear the same uh, and not require any materials in person. For students, assignments would not have to be due each time they come into class, but rather on certain due dates, bring the flexibility of these courses to yet another level. Now, as we move forward, we should heavily consider applying the hybrid learning method more often within universities to maximize student success, sociability, and convenience. However, there still must be a plan, a method to apply the style and maximize its effectiveness. Having tech companies apply discounts to universities and students would allow more accessibility for the online portions of hybrid courses for students. It would also increase sales for those select tech companies. Also, creating a smaller and more, creating more uh, spread out campuses that are much smaller than typical large centralized campuses would allow more access to those in-person portions of the hybrid course to more people. Finally, advocating these results and findings to universities throughout the world would certainly open their minds and allow for better experiences for students and professors alike. Thank you, here's my work site. Two questions for you. First up, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used and then how do you know? Well, I know that um, my sources were reliable because I got them from Gale Pages and each of them were academic, um, academic journals or peer-reviewed. And what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic in the future? For other researchers, I would say try to look more into how, how much exactly it saves for those colleges um, since they don't have students on campus as often. 